Hello everyone and welcome to today's lesson. Uh, today we're going to be talking about access mi modifiers and talking about this constructor thing and uh, arguments. So um, you can see that I'm using the code from the previous lesson just to make my life a little easier. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. What are access modifiers? Well, access modifiers you know, are exactly what they sound like they are. They, mod they, they determine who has access to, to our stuff essentially. So for instance, all of this stuff is marked private. Um, so when we type in panda dot, let's, let's do wait, okay. Um, we'll actually have to do console dot right line, uh, wait equals panda dot wait, it's going to give us an error and say um, inaccessible due to its protection level. So we can fix that by making this public. So now everything can access and set our weight. So um, we go ahead and run this and, and pandas doesn't weigh anything. So uh, let's go ahead and set uh, pandas weight. Um, now that it's public we can not only read it uh, but we can set it. So let's go ahead and do panda dot weight equals and he actually weighs 92 pounds. So we'll run this and we'll see that his weight is now 92 pounds. So let's say um, every time we feed Panda, uh, we want him to gain a pound, of, okay? So um, we'll go ahead and uh, just do this. This, then this is, uh, using the uh, this is how you essentially use our member variables. This dot weight equals uh, this dot weight plus one, okay? And we'll want to just write it out to the screen that he um, gained some weight. Console write line. New weight equals this dot weight, right? So we'll go ahead and then um, let's see here. Feed panda. Um, and obviously it's marked as private. So we, you know, if we try to do panda dot eat. Okay, it's going to give us an error, uh, inaccessible due to its protection level. Um, we're going to go ahead and make this public. Okay, so now it's part of our you know public interface, how how things interact with our class. And if we run this, let's see what happens. You know, we fed him once, and he gained a pound. Makes sense. And we can, you know, feed him one more time, and he'll gain another pound. Okay, makes sense. Now. Let's just say that uh, we don't want other people to be able to, you know, directly, you know, monkey with, with Panda's weight. Whenever we create him, let's say we want to create him with a weight, right? So we'll make this private, again, and that's going to break, um, you know, these two uh, right here because, again, now it's marked private and we're working with it directly. Okay. So that should fix that, we could run it, and you know we get one and two. Uh, now that brings us to what a constructor is. You don't actually see it here, but uh, a constructor essentially um, sets all the initial values and, and state of the class, or the, technically the, uh, the, the object. Um, so right now we have an invisible constructor, and it sets all of these variables to you know, safe values. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, a constructor, okay, and uh, the way we do this is public, and then it's called the, exactly the same as the class itself, uh, dog. We say, in, we enter in what its arguments are going to be, so uh, int dog wait, okay, and then we simply do uh, wait equals dog wait, and that's that. So now we're going to get an error uh, because we need to have, you know, the, you can actually hold the mouse over that, uh, the dog weight. So panda's weight again was uh, 92, right? So now when we run this, panda's going to be 92 pounds. He eats twice, he's going to be, you know, 94. So there we go. So that's how we actually set the initial state is by declaring that, uh, that constructor. So 
that's it for uh, for today's lesson. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, comment or, um, on Next RTV or on YouTube, and we'll see you for uh, tomorrow's lesson. Thanks, guys.